reason for Schlissel's firing as president has made many people concerned about this realization, which really is what this is. A university spokesman explained to me that this was known from the moment that they made the original announcement. The former president is entitled to a faculty position, adding this is the normal process for any faculty member returning to their faculty duties from an administrative appointment. I don't think it's the best idea for him to continue to pursue a teaching um, profession here. Mark Schlissel was fired from his role as president of the University of Michigan. Schlissel allegedly engaged in an affair with a subordinate, which is against university policy, whether it was consensual or not. But according to U of M, he's still entitled to his role as a professor there. A revelation for some that was not greeted with approval. Absolutely not. I feel like a lot of students here have been affected by him and especially all the allegations that have come out and the emails that have been, you know, blasted everywhere. And so I think absolutely not. You know, we are mad at him. We reached out to the university about this and they explained that Mark Schlissel has always had a faculty appointment and being fired as president didn't change that. Writing me, quote, Mark Schlissel is entitled to a faculty position with tenure that was granted as part of his initial U of M employment agreement and confirmed in his most recent agreement. Do you think it's ethically appropriate for the university to return him to a place in which he has direct access to subordinates when he's shown that he can't follow the university guidelines with regards to that group of people at the university? I mean, ethics or not, it seems like it's a matter of the contract and, and he has rights as a faculty member to not be fired at will. And I, I just want to take a moment to say that tenure is, is constantly under threat because what tenure is, uh, is a kind of freedom from interference from corporate and political power. Mark Navin, chair of philosophy at Oakland University, says because Schlissel is tenured, he's entitled to due process. It's entirely appropriate to criticize Mr. Schlissel and, and to, to hope that due process would see him uh, terminated from his faculty position. But we want to separate that from the real public interest that's served by having a free inquiry and research by faculty members. The university releasing a bevy of communications between Schlissel and the subordinate who is not named. I guess you call it sexual harassment policy thing. Um, kind of erupted, and it was a policy that he put in place. He, he personally uh, helped develop it, and then they found that he had not followed it. I, I'd say it's pretty simple. Uh, unfortunate but for him, but simple. And by the way, what was a guy who's, he's married, I believe, messing around with another woman? What's that about? While he also retains his faculty appointments as a professor of molecular, cellular, and developmental biology in the College of Literature, Science, and the Arts, and microbiology and immunology in the medical school, again with tenure. Those departments are now in the process of officially absorbing him into the faculty and determining what his initial duties will be as he makes this transition, which was the commitment the university made way back in 2014. Microbiology and immunology in the medical school will be his home department for administrative purposes as of now, Taryn. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how students react to all of this, but what about the university? Did they have any sort of response? Yeah, we did reach out to the university. They didn't give us anyone on the record to talk about this, except to explain in an email to me some of the details of how this will indeed work out. So perhaps there will come a time when the university wants to put someone forward to talk about it, perhaps someone from the Board of Regents to give some detail about this, since they ultimately made the decision in the beginning to remove Slissel as president. President, but all of that is still outstanding. Taryn? We will wait and see. Hillary, thank you.